Hello, welcome to the video for what is string parse into. Let me go ahead and run our quick little example here. And it's not going to make any sense because we're not really doing anything with it. So let's go ahead and check out our parse into array. We pull it up, it's parse into array, and it's going to be under the string section. What this does is basically takes an input string and allows you to split it up into individual parts, an array of strings, separated by whatever your delimiter is. And your delimiter can be anything. So what I've done is I've created a sentence called, this is our long sentence, and I've set up my delimiter to be a space. Now, there is a space in there. If I was to do nothing, for example, you'd see nothing, but I did space for our separator. So how it works is it's going to go ahead and take our sentence. Every time there is a space, it's going to create a new string and put it into our output array. And then it's going to go ahead and output the entire array once it's done. Now, call empty strings, basically, if there are any empty strings, anything where there is no input, sorry, any value, if it's a space or it's empty, whenever it was separated, it's going to go ahead and just remove those completely and not allow them. It's going to assume you don't want those. So let's go ahead and run this. And what's happening here actually is you're actually seeing an output value. When I created this source sentence, I actually have a space in the beginning and a space at the end. So if we go ahead and we toggle our breakpoint here and we hit run, and then we go ahead and look at our output, you can actually see we have seven values in our array. The first value is actually a space. Then we have this is our long sentence. And then we have another space. And those are our seven values. And that's because I told the parse into array node to go ahead and separate based on the space. So you have the first space, there's one. Then you have this with a space behind it. So it separates it into the word this, removes that space and goes on. And it continues on using the space as a separator between each value. Now, if I was to go ahead and use call empty strings and run this again, our difference is now we're only going to see the five values because it went ahead and removed the beginning and the ending spaces as invalid because they were empty. So that's it. That's how it works. It's pretty simple. Let's say, for example, we had a array of items that came in from an outside source. Like for example, we had tuna and we had mayo and we had relish. We had mustard. We were making a really awesome tuna sandwich. Now if we go ahead and set our delimiter to the comma and we hit ran this again, we're going to see our output values as tuna, mayo, relish, and mustard because our sentence was, if I find it again, tuna comma mayo comma relish comma mustard and our delimiter i set up as our comma to separate so that's it that is our parse into array it's a great thing to pull in maybe outside data from a website or maybe you use maybe you're using something like a comma separated value excel spreadsheet or document you pull that information in split it up into array and now you have all your values separated into nice organized arrays. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.